your goals, your targets, your dreams. I, Sally here from Ali's Therapy Academy. Just here, as we're getting to the end of the year, um, and you probably by now looking towards next year. Um, if you're watching this at a different time and a different date, um, this is still important because this can be put to any year. It's just we're now looking at December 2019 and we're looking towards 2020 in the new decade. So what are your goals, targets and dreams? Um, I've been running some training recently at home and online and we've looking, been looking at marketing and what content and social media and strategy can we put together um, to help us um, through the year? Because often when we're trying to think of things we want to create, when we want to think of ways that we can market our business and be visible and get the word out there, we can sometimes look at our computer and go, oh, don't know what to say, don't know what to do. So um, that's why within, within these courses, within these trainings and live workshops, I go through certain strategies and techniques to help therapists to be able to pull a marketing plan and a marketing strategy together so they've got something that they can look at to create every month besides then any extras that they want to do that comes spur of the moment or industry news or whatever. Um, but when you're putting these plans and dreams together, um, when you're putting this marketing plan together, it's all got to come from your own goal, targets and dreams. Because to work and to be able to run our businesses, we've got to have some type of clarity. We've got to have some type of vision. Otherwise, we end up plodding. And if you're happy to plod, that's fine. I have done that many a year. I have plodded. As long as I've had clients every week, I've been happy, I've content. It's only the last couple of years that I've really had strong dreams, visions, targets of things I want to achieve, things I want to learn, things I want to be able to do. Whether that's become with age, whether that's become with confidence, I'm not sure. But without earning and learning and doing what I do, I wouldn't be able to go off and have adventures at Glastonbury. I wouldn't be able to go off and learn training that I do. I wouldn't be able to go off and have business meetings that I have um, in Gloucester. There's different things that I do that if I look back a couple of years ago, I'd go, Ooh, no, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't get me doing that. That's not me. It's out of my comfort zone. But the more I've done and the goals and targets I've set, then, then the things have grown. Um, and again, this is why I say it's also, as I suggest, it's great to be able to set those goals, targets and dreams. Talked about vision boards before. I'm running a, a course a training morning here in January where I will be helping others, not just in the therapy industry, but anybody who wants to create their own vision board and mandala, business mandala. So I'll be going through that in January. But we're coming up to Christmas and I always take two weeks off at Christmas time um, to sit and look and plan not only my life, but my business. I like to review. I like to see and go through what I've done. I like to read through my journals because often there's things that I've done and I've achieved that I've forgotten that I'm glad that I'm, I write this down in my journal. I also write things down in my journal that haven't gone well that maybe then next year I want to improve or find out how I can do it better. So in the two weeks off that I have over Christmas, I review my life, I review my business, I read my journals, and that helps me then to create my vision board and to create my goals, targets and dreams for 2020. Um, and one way of doing this, you can do your life, you can look at what you want to do, maybe what you want to do with your partner, maybe what you want to do with your kids, with your families, maybe your kids are going off to university and you need resources to help fund them. Whatever it is, whatever success 
or dreams mean to you, mean purely to you, doesn't count me in, doesn't judge from other people, it's purely what you want to do. And to help support and fund that becomes our business. So write down, what is it, what training do you want to do? What things do you want to improve? Do you want to improve your social media? Do you want to improve your website? Do you want to improve your blogging? Do you want to improve your customer service? Do you want to improve your ideal client? Do you want to improve your business overall? Don't get into overwhelm, little stages, but maybe you want to look at how you do your business and you want to improve how you know how you do your business better you might want to look at you know adding extra techniques for your ideal client or what service you provide for your ideal client whatever it is i've just put out some suggestions there whatever it is these are your goals and your targets your dreams how are you going to achieve them how are you going to support them and how are you going to afford them this is when we then look at and review our business. And we look at and we plan then what we want to do with the business. How much do you need to earn? This is the, these are all the things that you're going to need to look at. How much do you need to earn to support your roof over your head? Or is it to support your lifestyle? Or is it to support you having fun? Is it to support that car you want? Is it to support that handbag you want? Is it to support a life that you want? Do you want to earn money that you pays for you to go off on trainings, to go off and have festival weekends away? Does it want to pay you to go off and have holidays or weekends break with your girlfriends? Does it want to pay to have that dream cruise you've wanted with your husband? Maybe you've got a 25th wedding anniversary coming up or a 30th or a 40th or whatever. As I said, your dreams and your goals are your own things. So how much money do you need to earn? How much expenses do you need to cover? How much do you want to be paid to help to save towards any goals and dreams you want? How many, how much holiday do you want to take next year? So how many weeks off do you want to work? How, or take time off? How many weeks do you want to work? How many hours do you want to work in that week? Maybe you only want to do part-time hours now. Maybe you've got a full-time job and can only work in the evenings and weekends. So how many clients do you want to see in that time? And if you've got a set goal that you need to earn each month or each week, and you've only got so many clients, how much does that, much does that mean you need to earn in an hour? Maybe your therapies are already priced at the right amount for what you know you want to earn, but you might find then that there's a shortfall for what you want to earn and to actually what you're charging per hour for your clients. So there might be that discrepancy. There might be that, like I've heard recently, that a person, a therapist, haven't put their prices up in nine years. Nine years. So, you know, how often do, do you put your prices up? Do you put them up every year? Do you put them up every three years? Do your prices need to go up? It's all these things that we look at that if you've got the ideal time over the Christmas holidays, maybe you've got kids home from school, that's not so ideal. Maybe you can do it when they've gone to bed. Maybe you can do it that maybe they're off at some friend's house or at some camp or something, camp may not sound right, but maybe some group over the Christmas period, maybe they're doing some sport or something, or you can take yourself off to a coffee shop and just sit and think. Maybe have your phone with you or your tablet to maybe to get some figures up and look at calendar dates or take a calendar with you. But sit and think, treat that as your business retreat. Take yourself away, either in your bedroom or first thing in the morning when you're lying in bed, or, you know, if you've got your kids like my age, they're, they're grown up now, but they're still living at home. They're in their bedrooms. I can have the living room to myself and I'll have my planners, my diaries, my pens, my stickies, whatever, all over the floor with a nice glass of wine and I'll sit and I'll go through it all in an evening or over a couple of evenings. 
Maybe you can do the same. As I said, maybe you're a morning person and can lie in bed and do it. Maybe you're an evening, a night owl, and can sit there in your lounger or in bed or, or over the floor with your glass of wine and look at it. Or maybe you need to go down the coffee shop and take yourself away and to sit and look at it. But use this time now to review your year, look at your goals and your targets, break it all down, see what you need to do to create the life you want. It might be a simple life. To somebody, it could be simple. To somebody, they might want to jet off and travel all around the world and see different sites. Doesn't matter. Each person's individual. Each one's different. You do. You set your goals and targets and your dreams to whatever you want. But remember to break each target down into small steps on how you're going to achieve it. And you need to know your numbers to be able to achieve that. So breaking it down into how much you want to work, how many hours, how much you're charging to be able to get your goals, targets and dreams. So I hope this helps. Do get in touch with me if you want to have a chat and for me to help you to see how we can put a plan together of how you can achieve and breaking it all down to knowing your numbers and to how you can create a plan of action to get your goals, targets and dreams. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.